And I'm Tina. And we're TNT RVing. So what are we up to today, Tina? We are not RVing, but we are here at one of our local parks and we want to share with you the Blue Eddy AC180P power bank. And this is brand new for Blue Eddy. This unit has a 1,440 watt hour capacity with a built-in 1,800 watt inverter. I'm excited to share with you what this thing's capable of doing. So come on, let's check it out. We brought both of our Blue Eddy PB200 solar panels. These are 200 watt solar panels. And the nice thing is we're gonna be able to charge the uh, AC180P up here at the park. I currently only have one solar panel hooked up and I wanna share with you what that is capable of doing here. We're currently at 147 watts. So we have some pretty decent uh, sun on this 200 watt panel, getting 146 watts. You can see that it's going in and it's going to slowly charge the battery. So let's kick that up a notch, Teen. We have two 200 watt panels. I'm going to show you how you could hook these up into series and boost up that power going in to charge it. So we're going to disconnect this. And right over here, I'm going to set that down. So here's our solar panel up front. This is a solar panel that's in the back here. We have red and black and then what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this and plug it into black and then this will get plugged into red like so and you could do this with either one of these so this will be a series connection mm -hmm. now theory theoretically <laughs> that's funny so theoretically this will now be around 300 watts. Let's see where we are with it. That's funny, my phone is. All right, so with the both, both of the solar panels hooked up, we are currently at 282 watts or so. And this will adjust depending on the, the sunlight and everything else. But remember that we're now at 71% 71, 71 state of charge. We're gonna leave these solar panels hooked up during our test of making a um let's see a nice coffee i've got some rice that i want to make and i brought the air compressor so let's see what that's going to do too what is in the box of course it comes with great instructions it tells you everything you want to know about the ac 180p you get a nice beefy 120 volt power cord and that plugs into the side here this is where you charge the ac 180p it has a circuit breaker uh, and then also a ground right here. So you could actually hook that up to an external ground, which is nice. You get a 12 volt DC power cable. And what you can do with this is plug this into your car's cigarette lighter or 12 volt power. And then it has a barrel connector. That barrel connector will actually plug into where we have the solar panels plugged into. And the next piece here is a solar panel mc4 connectors on one side and a barrel connector on that side and i'm using the one that we had from our other power bank currently that's what's plugged into the unit now so this is the one that came with this one so let's go ahead and bring you in a little closer and show you a little bit more what we have uh on here all the different outputs and inputs okay you have four 1800 watt receptacles here and you're going to be able to power a household device that's up to 1800 watts and it actually has a power boost of 2700 watts which is kind of neat you have four usb a's these are 5 volt 3 amps you have a usb c here which is up to 100 watt and then dc output 12 volt 10 amp that's right here. This is a cigarette uh, kind of lighter there you could power. And then up top, if we got a phone here, I've got my phone right here. We got a charger as well, which is nice. You just set that up there and it'll, it'll charge. And that's a 15 watt charger as well. Our power button, the main power button is in the center here. And when you press this, it actually wakes up that display if you can see that at all. Mm -hmm. And then DC side, and AC side, you can turn those on and off as needed. 
I have everything on currently. And of course, as you may or may not know, Blue Eddy has a wonderful app and you can do all sorts of things. And I'll show you a little bit later, maybe inside our house, what that app can do. Tina, what do you think about uh, an iced coffee right now? I think an iced coffee sounds amazing. Let's do that. Okay. All right, so we do need a coffee though. Oh, Let's do I that. cheated and brought the already pre-made one, Oops. but we're gonna put that in there with the ice to make it frothy. Which is actually pretty good. <laughs> yep. So there we're at uh, zero. We're gonna put it on power and so just at that level, which is about a medium, Let's try medium 367. Let's go high. <laughs> so I'd say that's looking pretty good. Let's <laughs> want to try that. Really good, yeah. Might as well. All right. And here we go. <laughs> We're simulating making a margarita because we didn't want to bring alcohol to the park <laughs> so, <laughs> so iced coffee. actually it's pretty good it did you like some good. yes all right so that just gives you an idea it's kind of kind of silly but we decided to bring our oh blender gosh, with really us good. it is pretty <laughs> it's good. Really good it's our, one of the things we brought with us is our pressure cooker it's our instapot which i like and we're gonna have a rice dish for dinner so <laughs> I decided we really are. <laughs> I brought two cups. Uh, I, I actually, well, let's show them. So I went ahead and I pre-soaked the rice at home. I cleaned it up. I, I rinsed it several times. And I threw two cups of rice in here with uh, three cups of water. And you just throw the lid back on here. All right, so we have our Instapot cooking our rice. We're currently pulling 1,200 watts, so 1 1.2 kilowatts. And I wanted to bring you in a little closer and check this out. You could, the fan is kind of boosted up a bit and it's keeping the AC180P nice and cool. Currently with the Instapot, you see how it's cycling goes on 1,200 or 1 1.2 kilowatts. Now let's hit the blender. Look at that, it jumped up to 15. We could, we could stop that and drop back down to 1200. So it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So we could cook a whole meal out in the middle of the park. We could with <laughs> all of our. We, we would probably with have all to, of our appliances. If, if we wanted to add any more appliances, you know, it probably would be best to use them one at a time <laughs> and not all at once. We don't need to overload the the unit. Yeah. But if we decided to overload the unit, which you could, it was. one of the neat things about this, you go into settings. And when you go into settings, you see here, there's a power lifting mode. So we could turn that power lifting mode on and that'll boost, that'll allow this to boost up to 2,700 watts for a period of time. And the way that works is it really doesn't increase your amps or your wattage. What it really does is it drops down the voltage and then allows that that current so you really wouldn't want to use that with anything that has a, a microprocessor or anything because you could do some damage with that so just to be aware of that so let's bring that we'll bring that power boost back down because we're not really going to be getting there using that so but uh what we're currently doing here we're as you can see still at 70 percent we have 159 watts going into the unit with the sun and it, the sun is dropping so we are losing some of the intensity of it and but we are putting out 1200 so it's really uh pushing that power in and out <laughs> of the unit all righty so the rice is cooked let's take a look at that what i'm gonna Ooh, do that's... is i'm gonna vent that We'll let that uh, vent before we open it. I forgot to bring a fork with us. <laughs> so we're going to be using a stick to kind of fluff our rice. <laughs> and it's clean. <laughs> so let's take a look at what our state of charge is. 
All right, so actually we're at 61%, which isn't terrible from, I think we started at 70%, and then we really lost our solar uh, this whole time. It's been depleting, depleting, because the sun's been dropping down. So let's uh, see what this is gonna look like. It smells good. It does smell good. I'm gonna vent that a little quicker. This stick is perfect. Look, I'm sanitizing it. Well, you're sanitizing it, well. it by <laughs> So that's going to save us time when we get home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> All right. We don't know what we're having with oh, the rice. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. So clean stick. Oh, that rice is perfect. Yeah. I might have to taste some if I can. Oh, my gosh. You are not putting that in Yeah, sure. Mouth. Why not? It's good. Mmm. Perfect. Okay. Well, part of our dinner is ready. Okay, awesome. All right, let's close that up. Alrighty, now that the rice is cooked, let's see if the Blue Eddy AC-180P could run our air compressor to put air in our tires. There's our air compressor right there. Let's do our last test, and this is gonna be to run our air compressor. So let's see what uh, the output's gonna actually be. Here's our, our gauge here, I'm gonna turn this on. Take a look here. So 1,200 watts is what the air compressor is using. Okay. Which is pretty impressive that we can run air our compressor. air compressor with this. Cool. So I'm going to shut it off because it's making some noise. So Tina and I are getting ready to go live on YouTube with Charlie Grace Adventures. And we're going to be using the AC-180P for our power source. I'm not going to run a bunch of cords throughout the house. I'm currently plugged into our outlet here, and I've got the app pulled up. You have actually three ways to use the AC power to charge this unit up. We're going to go to the settings here, and if you look at the charging mode, you could hit standard, and it is default on standard. So when you're stand on standard, you see that there is 1,050 watts going into the unit. Let's go to silent mode. You can also hear the fan. So now we're switching to, to the quiet mode or silent mode. The fan throttles down and it, of course, lowers the wattage that is charging the unit. The other option you have is there's a turbo mode. So that's really gonna boost it up. So let's check out the wattage, now we're going up to 1450, 60 watts. And you can really hear that fan ramp up. So that is really gonna charge the unit up quick. So keep in mind when you do use that, it will charge it up quick, but there's no sense, we're not in a huge hurry to get this charged up. No sense adding any uh, stress to our battery. We wanna conserve it. And we're gonna actually bring that back down to the standard mode. And you'll see that that fan throttles down. So that's really kind of neat as well. The other thing I wanted to share with you is the eco mode. So you can set this, it's currently on. So if there's inactivity for four hours or so, it will shut down your AC or DC outlets and you have lower, low power settings. So once it reaches those, those preset uh, settings which you can actually change it'll shut the unit off as well so that's kind of neat the other thing I wanted to share with you is some of these uh, well let's go to the firmware upgrade that's super easy I actually upgraded it earlier today you just hit that button if there is another version available it'll tell you right here you just click it and it just it really downloads it quick uploads it to the unit and you're up to date. So that's really nice. You definitely want to check that. Advanced settings. You go into the advanced settings. This is a really neat feature. Say we're at a place where the, uh, the power is surging or it's low power. What you do is you can turn that unit on right there and it will adapt to those power spikes and different things and it will actually not harm the unit. So grid self-adaption, if you have that on. Let's go back. 
And the other thing, of course, there's a user manual. You can click that and it'll take you to that. Uh, but that's essentially how the app is working. Let's go back. All right, we're at 99%. That didn't take too long. We are all set for this evening's live with Charlie Grace Adventures. And real quick, I wanted to point out that all this information that we've been discussing is in the user manual, in the paper form that came with the unit, along with in the app as well. There's Tina. Hi. <laughs> so we should be all set to go this evening and looking forward to report back in and how it goes. Okay, we're getting ready to go live. We've got our lights plugged in. We got our computer plugged in to the Blue Eddy right there. So we're going to start off at 100%. Look at this. It tells us we have about 16.2. It's bouncing around to eight hours. So we should have plenty of power for this evening's live. Yep, oh, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, last night we went live with Charlie Grace and we used our Blue Eddy for that. We couldn't do the wrap up because we were way too tired. <laughs> so it's it's the next day. But big shout out to Blue Eddy for sending this to us. This is the AC180P and it is amazing. We and really we like still to have 79% remaining power. And we have our lights plugged into it right <laughs> now. But this thing's amazing. We've used it for the last couple of weeks. We used it when we were traveling to make coffee in our Keurig. Yes. And when we were underway with Bell, we stopped off at a rest stop. I was hankering a cup of coffee. <laughs> and um, with Bell, unfortunately, we only have a thousand watt inverter. So the uh, inverter will not run our Keurig coffee maker. Yeah. So the Blue Eddy really helped us out there. 1,800 watts, easy peasy on that Keurig, and we were yeah. able to get our coffee. And then when we went to Atwood, we used it to make biscuits and gravy outside. It was a little chilly day, but and we didn't want to use the <laughs> skillet smell. in the inside because it does the, uh, does stink up the RV when you're grilling so or frying up. We ended up sausage. using the uh, <laughs> Blue Eddy there on the picnic table yeah. and with our electric skillet that was awesome. and, and made and a wonderful great. gravy, sausage gravy. That yeah, was good. That worked amazing. And we also, as you saw in the video, used it at our local <laughs> park. So a big shout out to Blue Eddy for sending this to us. This yes, is an thank amazing you. unit. We can't wait to keep using it on the road and you will see it a lot in our videos. I'm sure of it. I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining possibly, and if you did appreciate it, if you'd subscribe to TNT RVing. Hit this big thumbs up a like, and we'll see you at the campground. T -T 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 -T